Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can structure a beautiful, elegant, and full experience for a one-page website. We're gonna walk through two examples that are recent builds I did. I'll show you what I did to build them, kind of some tips and tricks as you go through it. But to show you the real key elements of designing a one-page website, this is very similar to any page, but knowing these key elements and how to emphasize them on a one-page website are really, is this is really gonna take you to the next level. So let's get into it. First, we're on this website here, Social Moments. This is a creative agency that does uh, reels, shorts, that type of content. Um, first and foremost, you're gonna see here, it looks like a very full website with all the links. But the first thing is we have anchor links set up. Now this is gonna be my first tip. You wanna set up anchor links to all your sections for a one page website. This is really going to build into the entire user experience and give people confidence that when they come to the site, they get everything that a normal website would have, but without necessarily being a quote unquote normal website. So set up anchor links. There's a ton of tutorials online on how to do that and how you can get that going. The next thing is, with these anchor links, these are all the key sections that I recommend that you have on your website. So let's break that down. For the intro, you really want this to be structured like a sentence. For the intro, you wanna start with a capital letter, right? So you wanna start the sentence with a capital letter. What does that mean? Well, it means starting out with, what does it look like if I engage with you? If I engage with you on this, on, and by your product, by your service, whatever you're offering, what does success look like? You want to define that as much as possible here. This is more so just like a cool digital moment uh, to start out, uh, but overall, you want to highlight what you're offering. So this is another one-page website here um, that you can see, and again, it emphasizes great wine, no rules. It's a really cool experience. And this is something that we'd recommend. You wanna give people success. There are three key things with success. Number one, happy people. Often that is the case. So you could have smiles and things like that. Number two is gonna be like a tagline like this, great wine, no rules. Number three is gonna be some type of call to action on how to take next steps. Now for this site here, this is more of a promotional site, so it operates a little bit differently. And then this site here, they operate just a little bit differently. So they're quote unquote breaking the rules, but I'm, what I'm telling you is the ideal case scenario is that you have a really good banner image that shows like what does success look like? And then that takes us into the next section, which is gonna be about. So you wanna give people a clear, this is who we are, this is what we do, this is why we do it. You wanna give people the why behind the what. People don't just buy what you do, they buy why you do it as well. And so you wanna emphasize that here. Then you wanna go into something you could call, this is called creative capabilities, but it's basically services. And so here you wanna break down services. In the case of like, this isn't e-commerce necessarily, but you'll see the about, and then you'll see the actual products. Uh, that they offer here. And so this goes into this like services category or products category, where then you could come here and see their different products. Cool, so we got the homepage banner, we have the about, we have services. Then we wanna show off, this order right here is kind of variable, just depends on how you wanna do it, the approach and the work. So why is the approach important? The approach is important because people wanna know what they're getting into before they get into it. Uncertainty just leads to more fear of buying. So what is the next step? How do we work together? Having a clear sense of the roadmap ahead gives the potential client and customer a clear idea of what to expect, especially if you're outside of e-commerce. Do we book a call and then I pay you? Do I pay you, then we book a call? Then when I pay you, do you do the work? Do I pay you and then you tell me to do something, then we do the work, how's it go? People wanna know the approach. And so you wanna give people clarity on that in most cases for any type of service-based business. Define the goal, plan the content, create the content, publish the content. Almost seems obvious, but you do want to have a section that emphasizes it. Um, then you go into work. 
Here, you're gonna emphasize work that you've done and work that you've accomplished, things you've created. So in here, they could click on the videos, be able to watch the videos. For e-commerce, again, the products kind of hold place for that. And so there's not necessarily a work section, but it is something that you do wanna emphasize. You wanna show people what you're talking about. From there, depending on who you are, how big you are and what this looks like, you do want a section for quote unquote pricing or investment here. How does it look to engage with you? Again, depending on who you are, what advice, what level you're at, what advice you've heard, pricing is gonna be a really helpful uh, determination if people are gonna work with you. So if you're just starting out, I highly recommend having your pricing on the website. You don't want people guessing what your pricing is because your work doesn't speak for itself yet. And so you want it to speak for itself. I'm kind of giving you like two levels of advice. If you're a designer, I'm helping you like launch a one page website, but I'm also showing you how these sections work and why they're valuable. Um, so you'll have an investment section and then from there, testimonials. So you wanna highlight testimonials on your site. So here's a testimonial, great. You could have one, you could have 100, like whatever. It just depends on what you wanna set up. And then again, what's cool is, boom, testimonials, pricing, it's all here. And then in the final section, this is the period. Remember, this is a sentence. This is the period at the end of the sentence. And so here, you're gonna give people a clear next step. Even if you highlighted it way at the top, let's say there was a button here that said contact us and it says contact here, you're still gonna have a section down here, start creating your moments, boom, send. Like, this is the next step. Give people a clear next step. These tips are actually great for any website. I think I mentioned that in the beginning, but like, these are great for any website. It's just, this is really useful for a one-page website to have all these sections broken down, to have the navigation. This is really gonna take it to the next level because it makes it feel full. And then from there, don't skip the footer. Just put a bit of text here um, that makes it seem and like that there's presence there. Don't just like ignore it because it kind of feels like it dies or it just ends like awkwardly. You gotta put something there. Put the 2023, your company name, whatever. Like just put some text there. Uh, so let's look at this site. They have, um, this is kind of their about in a little way, but they call this earth and vine, where it's made from and tells you a little bit about like highlights of these specific products. Then they have this FAQ section, which is really cool. What do you mean by this? What is this? All of that, awesome. Then they have this like call to action section if you have any com comments or questions. And then a newsletter section, which you could add this in if you want. I would do this underneath the contact. And then a final footer with, again, just enough text. You just need a little bit to fill it in. Don't leave it empty. Now, if you need a template for this, we have this beautiful template in our designer starter kit, which is super affordable to get, um, where you could buy not just those eight sections, but you can buy 70 plus sections pre-built for you uh, in Squarespace, all customized, set up for you, where all these different sections are already designed, and then you could just go in there and grab the sections. If you need galleries, it has galleries. It has everything you need to build a beautiful website um, overall. So definitely check this out in the link down below. Friends, I have an important update to share with you. If you just watch this video, you got value from this video, you already know what to do, like, subscribe, all that stuff. I love recommending that because it tells the YouTube algorithm some fancy stuff, but what it tells me is that you got value from the content so that I could create more for you. But on top of that, there's this important update that we're doing, that we're launching, that is the most positive, engaging, and coolest place to be if you are an aspiring Squarespace designer. So if you are an aspiring, like I just said, Squarespace designer, this is for you. We have built a community, it is a paid community, but we've built a community that has these pricing tiers that you can get in on where you can become a better designer in the next three, six, 12 months and have support. You could learn all the, you could watch all these videos on your own. You could like read every article on the internet. But what I've learned is the best tips and tricks that I've learned as a designer have happened in community. Also, if you do the community or the coaching component that we offer, you're gonna get direct access to someone like myself where I can help speak into issues or challenges you're facing. Having difficulty with a client, we could speak into that. Not sure if this the site you just built is what you wanna send to the client and you want feedback from people in the community, 
great place to be a part of it, all right? So there is a ton of value. Honestly, the list is like endless. There's so much value. If you are a designer, you will step up in process, in your flow, you will raise your prices. All of that will happen when you join this community because every designer I've worked with has raised their prices, has raised their standard and has become a better designer. So definitely check out that link below. Again, like and subscribe this video if you got value from it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.